Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Kona. It's a game based in Canada, which makes me pretty happy because I live in Canada. Um, so I'm pretty excited to play it. I've heard some really good things. It's got good reviews on Steam. If you guys like these videos, please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see in the future. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Quebec! Sorry, Canada. Love it. <laughs> Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Montreal! Sorry. William <laughs> Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. Lettering's bad! But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, I get to drive now. Okay, so ease the button to do things. Step out. I can get out right now. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Being late to his meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Okay, it won't let me step out. Okay. Wait. Ooh, look at this. We got a manual. He had set up to meet at the general store. His client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. Guys. Race car! Dude, I am zooming! Too bad I can't see my speed, because I bet I'm going fast. When the roads were bad, muddy, or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore those signs entirely and drive there anyway. <laughs> How often does a road need to be closed to require two picnic tables at its gate? That's a good question. Oh, cool, we got a bottle. Should I fill it up with water? No, I don't think this is like a survival thing. I've never like seen anyone play this, never heard anyone play it, just heard it's a good game, has good reviews, and it's based in Canada. So, that's good to me. The flyer says, Mana Stan. It will be good. Okay. Northern Quebec and its inexhaustible resources. The province of Quebec sits on an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. Get involved and invest now. Quebec's economic might will be awakened at the heart of the wilderness. The north is swimming with wolves, caribous, deers, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit of every bit the equals of Africans' wildlife. We are the Africa of America. Come discover the North and experience a genuine white jungle. I'm so sorry. I read that so badly. The country of Manison, its people wish to see you very soon. What am I here for? Am I just here to open the gate? Okay. I don't think there's anything I can really do in here. Ooh, what's this? Whoa. That's kind of creepy. If I saw a big wooden tower, I would climb it. Oh wow. Okay. Let's just snatch everyone's things. So I have fire starters and some cutters. Okay. I found out how to run. You hold shift. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here. This looks really cool. Like for an older game, it's got like still surprisingly good graphics. Rock. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back oh, of beyond? That's convenient. That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. I feel like if a road's blocked... There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. I feel like if a road's blocked, you shouldn't Carl's open it. Store. It was time for him to get down to business. Enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forest. Not too far from here. The local I take it I'm Carl. When it came to the affluent man. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortunes. And those oh. hated him enough to go on about Tough screaming corner. against him. Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine. 
which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned that a good number of people I must step be step out. Oh, I look at the garbage. Oppose Hamilton in one way or another. Look at that arm. So far, only okay. the industrial. Oh, I guess I can't. The target, but soon enough, Carl thought the target would become the man himself. I love games that we it lets you drive, even if it's just a straight path. It's still super fun. Whoa! Homeboy was just going. A few hours later. Carl needed to Whoa. get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent. It wasn't snowing. What? But this is Canada. One day no snow, the next day piles. Wow. That's the snow that makes your face hurt. What a cool intro, though. That was so cool. Okay, I want to check on the other guy. Okay, so I need to I need to repair my car. I think. Deposit. Withdraw. Oh, I, I can put stuff in. So I guess I... Okay. So I guess I can get too full complaining was not in Carl's nature it would take more than light injury oh yeah we broke the bridge and everything too the driver had taken off it was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance Carl needed help okay such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was but Carl didn't care much about flowery language a uh, photo backside. Isabel, you gave me meaning to everything. When you disappeared, so did purity. I would defend purity against the winds, the tides, against ice and blizzard. Okay. It was so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Ugh. First aid kit served to heal Carl's wounds. Okay. So. Consumable? First aid kit. Okay, so I think I've healed myself. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Okay. South at Tempic. And Tempic? Not sure. Okay. Heat swords prevent Carl from freezing death and save the game. The flames won't grow without some help. Other materials were required. Okay, so I need timber. Okay, so I need to find some wood. This looks like wood. Okay. Start fire. Okay, so I have sanity and everything too. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was gonna be this kind of game. <laughs> when under stress, Carl's less accurate and runs shorter distances. Okay. My sanity's not going up much. But I'm gonna take more wood. Okay, at least I'm out of the wind right now. Okay, Even so there's a chain. Than he had hoped. Carl Faubert had succeeded once more, and was now on his way to new adventures. I also have a glass bottle, I think, which I don't know what I could use that for. Okay, so I can start a fire in there as well. Why? Why is there an eyeball? What does that mean? I'm gonna. Go up here. That was my stats. Alright. Doing okay. Okay. So, taking a look. I don't really see much. But I think I'm gonna go back to the car, the truck, and see um, if I can fix it up a little bit. Okay. Lay chains. Okay. Can I go now? Oh, okay. So I fixed the car. Go forward. Why are you going back? Stop, stop, stop. Okay. 
So it's pretty slippery. Like, very slippery. Okay, I'm gonna kinda go slow. Because it's pretty hard to control. No longer am I doing mad drifts. You got this, Carl. Don't you worry, man. Turn on some music. Get the grooves on, buddy. Manistan region. Two acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. I want to step out. Okay. Fifteen fifty six. Okay. Carl's military training had made him a very punctual man. Okay, so it doesn't want me stepping out. His meeting with Hamilton was out of the question. Okay, so I guess I can't go in here. Now wasn't a good time okay. to wander about. Okay. Hamilton. We'll go back on the road. There. But that's Roy's house, whoever Roy is. I'm in a snowbank. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many houses. There's that house. Alright, I'm just gonna keep following the road. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing that the general store was close by. That's good that he knows that, because I don't. Oh no. Okay. Take it, this is the general store, yet. Yeah. Rendezvous is the achievement I just unlocked. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're at the general store. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. Okay, um... Something fell to the bottom of the box. Something fell to the bottom of the box. The milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottle. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Dude, fresh milk. Yum yum. La Fre Pasteur. Pasteurized milk. Or is that strawberry? Oh. Fresh pasteurized milk. Got it. Because late. Yeah, got it. I took French, believe it or not. Whoa! Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But what? Only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. I didn't know we were playing this kind of game. Take out camera. It's kind of sadistic. Okay. Keep the picture. Can I put my camera away? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? I don't think that's your uh, concern right now, bud. How do I put my camera away? Okay. So, an envelope. Mr. John Bo Montréal. Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address of the P.O. Bar. I didn't read it. I want to read it. For the Canadian Secret Service. Investigation. A case of vandalism. Meeting at General Store tomorrow at 11 a.m. Hamilton's murder. My client has said everything's going wrong. That's my luck. An envelope torn open, addressed to the Secret Service. If I remember correctly, this whole thing is more intricate than it seems. Okay. Oh, so the crash. Was there more to it? Okay. Envelope. What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was the address of the P.O. box for the Canadian Secret Service. Okay, I feel like the music is a little bit not fitting. <laughs> oh, 
Plus, no wonder you're running low on uh, fuel. You're leaving it running. Dude, so he said that the murder might be close by. The place is a mess. Good ob uh, observation, sir. Okay. Mysterious unbranded cans. Oh! An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Okay, inspect a broken clock. How convenient. Hmm. I'm uncomfy. It's dark. Recommend use a flashlight or lantern. Okay, but what was the bang outside in the first place? Okay, wait. Equipment, flashlight. A radiator without power is as good as a wood stove without logs. I don't know. What could have made the bang? Oh, yo, there's wolves. Do I want to break the lock? Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Dude, I'm starting to get freaked out. Always stay away from populated areas. Wait, was it about bears? Let it be known, you're nothing more than a brigand. A robber, a garbage hoarder, a viper, a leech, a monster. You're holding a knife at throat. Too bad for me, but... Okay. Maybe that was what was in the envelope? What is that? Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw okay. one. Carl was used to strange phenomena, but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Oh, yo, the tracks, there's like highlighted. Carl found a surprise at every turn. Was the camera faulty or was it a possible lead? Okay, let me take a look at the picture. Carl, Did I put the picture in here? In his work, always carried his log on him. In which he scribbled down thoughts and okay. leads alike during the course of Stop. his investigations. Okay. Where is the snow coming from? They say the fall is an unpredictable season, but this is something else. Oh, so it's only fall. I saw some very weird ice earlier that seemed to be lit up from within. I'd never seen anything like it. I don't know the chemical process in which pictures reveal invisible prints. I have to say, it looks entirely supernatural. That does look like caribou footprints, but... Hmm. I don't like that I didn't get all the stuff for the crash. But maybe there'll be more to it. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, there's a porta potty. Knock knock. Guess I'm not pooping. Whoa! Oh, they just closed. Okay. I'm guessing there isn't a whole lot I can do right now. <sighs> okay. The Polaroid, Carl's long-standing and faithful ally. God, I'm kind of freaked Every out. Share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Okay, so I've got a first aid kit. Oh, these are scissors. Oh, I don't know the code. that Gilles Lachance was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. Note from Gillis. You know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And when people have a frog in their throat, they do not take risks by going to work. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry, I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop, unless you would like to come in and fill for me. I wouldn't dare advise you. After all, you must know how it's done, since it's yours now. With camera guards, your dedicated manager, Gillis. Okay. The snowstorm the pummeled phone. everything in its path. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Okay, so I can't turn on the pump until I fix the power. Oh, damn. Well, there's some keys. Um, to that law, customer credit. It seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. 
Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. Oh, okay, so maybe I should check out those plates. So maybe that was the streets that I was passing earlier. I don't want to use my flashlight because I don't know if it has a battery. Okay, open. Duct tape. Close. Open. Nothing. Open. Nothing. So I have keys, so I can open up that mailbox outside. Canada! Okay. Dude, this is so freaky. <gasps> oh, that was just my fog. Oh, I just had a heart attack. God, I got more jump scared from that fog than I did the entire time playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, so I've got a bunch of fire starts. A nice picture of the Magasin La Chance store, seemingly taken the day it was first opened. It feels frozen in time. General store also serves as the post forgot. office for the locals. Read flyer. Miyazaki, Quebec's Klondike. Okay. Northern Quebec's economy is booming. The north of Carabougmao area's population will soon reach 30,000 souls, among with among which thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream, turn into your reality now. The mines a sector in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of resource re royalties it collects? Did you know that the country's true source of, ri source of richness is lying under your very feet at this very moment? The building of our schools and hospitals depends on minerals. Exploiting our resources, the road to our future. The country of the county of Manistan and people wish to see you very soon. That's sketchy. To open the cash register, punch the price two numbers minimum, press sale, then turn the crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay, so punch the price two numbers minimum, press sale, turn crank two times. Okay, so press it two times, two numbers. I'm gonna do 69, ready? 69, then punch sale. Crank two times and open that bad boy up. Okay, so I've got a key to the post. Is there anything up here? Climb up. Okay. A bottle. That's everything. Okay. Oh, this is so creepy. So, I can't tell if this is a horror game or just a simple adventure with a bit of murder mystery. But I've already been jump scared and nothing's even happened. Electricity turned off. Electricity from generator. Electricity from power line. And off. Open. Turn off. Turn on. Inspect. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay, so that means that this must be the garage. Hmm. This is the back. So I have duct tape, I just need pliers. Oh, so this is the garage. Okay. More wolf prints. some fire. How's my heat? I could honestly start that up. I might. Just because it's a little bit creepy. Okay. Um. Alright, now I'm going to check a garbage can. Okay, nothing. spot in the area. So I've got hardware. Okay, I've got pliers now. So I think I can fix the uh, thing. I don't know what that noise is, but it's freaking me out, dude. Okay. Ooh. At least we know it's fragile. 
Whoa. Okay. It's a nice car. Well, I'm gonna try to fix that thing then. Wait, wait, what's this? I have a map? Okay, so I'm there. Oh, wow. This is gonna be a fun game. Well, it already is, but... Damn. I did not know there was this much to it. Okay, so I fixed the generator. Then turn it on. Turn on the electricity for the generator. Does that mean I need to... Is it going to the garage right now? Is there a way to know? Because it said it can't go to the garage and the... Wait, I'm, I don't think so. So I'm gonna go in here again oh right the murder I have a weapon. gun what was that doing there Carl wondered Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key Shame what not unlucky. Everything letter from Hamilton sense. poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent who would receive the box later on. Clever. Letter from Hamilton. It is as a citizen That's of Her Majesty in the free economic chambers of the place. world that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the wor free world is in grave danger. Member of my com community, the Honorable. Okay, so... Oh, it's in French. That's cool. Okay, so obviously I'm missing something. Okay. Okay, so we did it. We did it, boys! So turn on, pump two. Okay. So fill up tank. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know it would be there. Okay. Okay. I think we can go now. Wait, should I follow? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna follow those caribou tracks quickly. See if it brings me anywhere. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. Gilles Lachance. Okay, I'm gonna follow these wolf tracks. Carl felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. But is it dumb to be doing this? I feel like I should have the gun on hand. mean to miss but I did okay okay the woods okay I'll start a fire I just want to pick up this thing so I got matches got a lantern And I've got a beer bottle. What's that? Eastern Atomepec. Atomepec? Oh no. This is kind of creepy. Okay. I'm gonna not mess with that. 
There's probably no point in following these tracks, but... Oh, there's the wolves again. I'm just doing it to scare them off so they don't attack me. Oh, there's that crystal thing again. So, there's another ice thing. Caribou tracks are still going that way. Wait, does that mean I only have three rounds? I only had three rounds. Did I- have I wasted? That's my last bullet. Yikes, I'm a terrible shot, so... Chances are this isn't gonna end too well. No, all the trees. There's meat and bottles. Oh, what a flaming someone arrow! Had been playing with a crossbow here. A very dangerous game. A bolt could hit someone's tire or their eye. It could even kill someone if the aim was right. Hmm. Okay, I know where I am. So this is where I walked to that one time. There wasn't an arrow there, I believe. When I first showed up. So I wonder if that stake is going to come in handy. a single window to brighten things up, the inside of the cabin was almost pitch black. It's giving me so Be many close encounters of me and not furniture. close to run out of food. Not close to running out of food. So it gave me steaks. That makes me think that I might need to use it to lure something away. I doubt I'm gonna be eating it. Got some wood. A toothbrush. The toothbrush is still wet. So is this guy who may have murdered? Homie? Right then. A suitcase with clean Everything clothes. Everything was set up for a well-deserved snack. It seemed like the place hadn't been empty for long, but without knowing exactly why, Carl had the feeling no one was coming back anytime soon. I do? Okay. Uh, I don't. I feel like they're gonna come back any second. So I'm gonna leave. I don't know, I'm not gonna lie, kinda of freaked out. Okay. I'm just gonna go it back was now. So cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes any anymore. Okay. I can make it back to that campfire that I started, hopefully. Post up and then we'll head back to the road and get driving again. Because there's a fresh crossbow, a wet toothbrush. I feel like something's up, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is that place that I found earlier. Do you think that's Homeboy's camp? The guy who murdered uh, that one dude? Okay. Get all toasty and let's go. Good thing the truck's still here, because I was kind of a little, little bit worried that it may have been taken. But. Okay. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going, Carl but I'm just. Gonna... The store and its surroundings still held their secrets, and he didn't like to miss out. It feels like the store and its surroundings still had a lot to fucking find. I feel like I've discovered as much as I can. Oh no. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. and go back. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm driving where I was walking. Okay, I don't know what's up there. Maybe what I already looked at. I think that is... I'm not really sure, to be honest. I don't know what more I'm supposed to be figuring out. So, wait, I'm just gonna take a second. Okay, I'm gonna step out. And I'm gonna check my journal. So, the crash. Okay. Elton's murder. So, went to the doctors now. I need to know if the doctor saw Gillis. I know how to lead the perfect investigation. So, I saw a hospital symbol earlier. So, this is me. Okay. Private detective pays bills along with my veterans' pension for my time in Korea. Usually, I'm hired to track unfaithful husbands, but divorces are expensive, so infidelities are scarce these days. William Hamilton hired me. He had a check and many promises, and I really wanted to leave Montreal. And Lake Ampetent Antimpec is the perfect place to get away. When you want to leave, you leave. William J. Hamilton. Rich industrialist. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I don't have anything else. Let's take a look at my pictures. None. Okay. So... I don't really think there's much I can do. So I've already searched what they've asked me to search for the case of vandalism. Um, okay. So the hunt. Strange hunt is underway in the village and the crossbow, crossbow bolts left behind are disturbing to say the least. They seem to glow as if they were constantly being heated by fire without the fire spreading from where it was stuck. How is this possible? So, I believe this is the place where that arrow was. I don't know what more I could find. Maybe there's something up there. Okay. A map. Okay. So I'm gonna look at my actual map. So, so I'm assuming that circle is where I am right now. It says two. So maybe that's like the journal entries that it's saying. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Oh, shut up, Drama Queen. I don't know what I'm missing, to be honest. So I'm just gonna keep going. Maybe I'll go to the hospital and I'll come back if I. I think I'll find something else. Whoa! Whoopsie. Okay. I get the feeling I'm a little too cold. So I'm gonna heat up. Oh, have I not been here before? Not too shabby. Carl felt he needed to protect himself. He was a typical shack, just like the ones you hear about in Quebecois legends. Local lumberjacks used it to rest and twice a day eat up their pea soup. They should have put a carpet here. Okay. I don't really trust being in here. Move peace. Who quits a game one step away from victory? That's probably dumb to move that piece. So now someone's gonna know that I'm here. Half full or half empty. Food the clothes, the general warmth of the place, no evidence of escape. Carl was sure of it. People <laughs> were here not long ago, and they expected to come back. Okay, well I'm not staying around to find out. Okay. A. 
Small but cozy. The perfect place to warm up. I don't know, dude. I'm gonna just keep going forward, I guess. As. Mm hmm. I know that's nothing, but I'm still going to take a look at it. Some duct tape. A little thing with a hat. Some... Okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Up here. Ooh. Lay's house. Okay. Okay. A wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. The soundlessness of the area suggested it was empty. Boot. When finding a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Uh, not really, to be honest. Probably just wearing different boots. Okay. More wood. Oh no. So deposit. I'm gonna... I'm gonna deposit the empty bottles. Because I don't know what they're there for. I'm like scared to deposit anything in case it's useful. I'm gonna deposit one of these. I got cigarettes. I think that's all I'm gonna bother depositing right now. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching. So I need a magnet on a stick. I bet you it's gonna be conveniently in this house. Oh, I don't have a key. Okay, so maybe I do gotta go in uh, homeboy's house first. I'm gonna take one of these logs just in case. 1352, 52, 1352, one orang, Louis Blaze. I just heard someone breathe, but it was probably Carl. The key, which seemed to be meant for a padlock, bore an inscription reading Kuche a fix. Okay, so there's the magnet. Oh no, 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 there's the wire. I should find the magnet. Weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Some ran up time packing his luggage. So why is everyone packing up? The spirograph amused Carl. It was a nice modern toy. Aside from being repetitive by nature and completely useless, still, it found its way into many Quebec homes. furniture has been moved several times. Pick up the phone. The bulb was burned out. Don't really need more matches, but I'll take them. Or fire starters. Oh, so I've got painkillers now. Okay. Nothing. Fill up a bottle. Over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death investigation of Pierre Blaze to come to a halt. The autopsy... Oh, so they died. The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clues that could have helped with the investigators. They refused to comment on what would happen next. The new development is happening in the context of this hypothesis of an accident, which is still, in, some, in spite of skepticism, expressed by the local population. The ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forests, forests surrounding Lake Antempic. Pierre Blaze was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. Blaze, an engineer by training, who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton, was portly in charge of the development plans surrounding the reopening of the mine. At first, police had disclosed that the body had been desecrated. Today, the official version is that the, it was partly devoured by beasts, hence the original assumption that a crime had been committed. Hmm. How is my temperature money in a jar 
What a shame. Carl would have loved cookies. Yeah, I know. I kind of thought it was going to be cookies, and I was like, yeah, take them. A pay stub for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Oof. Alexander Blair felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. So, I feel like I definitely am supposed to be filling up some bottles right now. I want more steak. Get some beer bottles ready for your party. The party, party! Taken inside the house. It was the same wallpaper. Judging by the smiles, nobody suspected the impending misfortunes. Oh. Notes from Martin Blay. My sweet Marie. Please excuse my handwriting. I am in a hurry. I have to leave for North Manasat with Mom and Miss Roy. As I say, it's too far too dangerous around here these days. I don't know how... I don't know much about what's going on because Mom won't tell me anything in an attempt to reassure me. But all I know is she has the exact same expression on her face when I startled her. Dad and Mr. Roy aren't coming because I've gone to get Mr. Lachance. They're real heroes. My grandmother lives in a very big house in North Manistan. You'd be welcome there. I must go now. Quite literally. Your friend Martin. Oh. It's like a kid's writing. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna deposit... The beer bottles. Put one of the steaks. Maybe a duct tape. And then I'm gonna take a couple bottles. And I'm gonna fill them up. I don't know what good it's gonna do, but... Obviously it gives me the option I should do it, I think. Because... It could help me, maybe if I, like, get stuck. Okay. I'm gonna get my flashlight. My car. It's pretty sketchy. Inspect impossible creation for a mechanical drawing toy. It's a drawing. Le monstre. The sheets were in such a way that indicated a rude awakening, followed by a hurried escape. What had happened here? It's creepy that the TV was on. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Louise's diary. I fear the worst for Alexander. He hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked him to play the with play the ball, and he didn't say a word. In that way, he has to glance at the window. Last night, I heard him mumble in his sleep. He's coming, he murmured. I don't know why, but those words left a deep impression on me. He woke up shortly after, covered in sweat. He couldn't remember his dream, obviously. He didn't go back to sleep after that, chain smoking the night away over the window. He told me to pack him, pack my things this morning. I wonder why. Does he himself... No? We're waiting, but for what? I feel dread. Okay. Oh, the tormented mind. Smoke in bed. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh... Oh, it's a dog. That's oh, a wolf. Holy cow. Oh, my heart. Okay, I'm gonna drop off the water bottles. So I need a magnet still. Oh, so I don't have the right key. Carl's big fingers prevented him from reaching the key. So where do I go? Maybe I have to go to Roy's house? Hmm. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Not long. Alright, we're gonna warm up here. And I think we're also gonna end this video. Um, but in the next one, we'll check out the uh, garage and we'll ch see what else we can figure out. To be honest, this is a pretty cool game. It's a lot 
more than I thought it was. I don't know what I expected it to be, but this is, it's a pretty good game. I'm pretty impressed. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. And uh, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Goodbye.